Hello there, everyone. My name is Zayred, and welcome back to Mortal Kombat XL. I did say that I was going to do this, and I am. I'm going to show off every single character's um, tower ending and like different variations with them. And I'm going to start with a character who wasn't in story mode, Goro. Now, Goro, you actually had to pay to get either way. He was five bucks with the deal. You either got him in the DLC packs, which cost five bucks there, or you pre-ordered the game, which cost you five extra bucks still. So either way, Goro costs um, five bucks. The only thing that takes people off about that is that he's already on the game. He's um, locked behind a paywall. I can understand why people are mad with that. Heck, we were mad when they did that when Marvel did that. What made you think that it was okay with this? Do you harbor Shokan souls? Not yet. Round one, fight. And our first opponent is this douchebag. Now I will try to do my best with certain styles and variations. I don't have that much practice with a bunch of them. But I will admit Goro is pretty fun to play as. That plus he's slimmed down a whole lot. Compared to his other counterparts. Yeah, no. Also, I'll be trying to show off um, fatalities, brutalities, and um, faction kills. Faction kills are different. There are a bunch of different factions in this game. I'll show them off later on. But anyway... But in all honesty, you don't really have to worry that much about the factions and everything. As all they really do is just give you extra coins and different teams to work with. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. Ah, crap. And here's fatality number one. What I was trying to do, I was actually on the wrong end for it. There's a very special stage brutality you can do here. If you bring him over to the side and hit him with the hammer, you can actually kill him that way. All right, our next opponent is Katana. Also, for the first couple of videos I'm gonna be doing this, you won't see a single character you've already seen. Well, be play as. I mean, we'll be playing as it. There is a yellow stripe down your back. Round one, fight. Also, I do feel bad because I do know in the comics, Kintar was killed by Sonia. Granted, Sonia was under blood magic or something. I don't remember exactly what had happened. I do know what had something to do with what Reiko was doing doing with Scarlet. I do feel bad because those characters got reinvented like crazy in this newer timeline by being like a lot more important. Ah, crap. No, you don't. Ah, come on. I hate that move. No, the one I hate the most is the one where she runs to you and stabs you twice. Oh, man. I, that never gets old for me. But I might as well show this off. Oh man! I don't know what it is about the X-rays in this game, but I just love the way they, I mean, how they snap in them. No! Come on! Come on. There actually is another one you can do with Goro's stomp, but I don't have enough energy to pull it off right now. That was unless she's some. Come on. Alright, hit me one more time so I can see. I'll try to show it off right here. Come on, Katana. Hit me. Thank you. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up. There we go. Brutalities are done on the very last hit of a match. Certain ones are easy to pull off like that one or the fire one you saw me pull off at the end there. It's very rare that I usually don't pull it off whenever I do that one. I'll show off what and also I'm going to have to um, cut real quick because I'm about to switch costumes. But first... Goro. Liu Kang! This time you shall die. Round one. Fight. And we're back. Now we're playing with his Dragon Fang variation. The only real difference I noticed with this variation is the fact of his he brings out these gauntlets. Well, arm protectors, whatever you want to call them. Don't really know what the actual name is to these. 
but it actually is his fastest variation. And who else better to have him use it against than Liu Kang? <laughs> Round two, fight. All right. In all honesty, though, Liu Kang is a bit of a dick. But and plus, I do like Goro. Though I do find it funny because if they actually did make classic Goro, what would he look like? Because a bunch of other characters did get the classic MK1 designs. All right, let's see. Crap. I apologize. I forgot how to do his um fatality. His other fatality. I don't have a stage fatality yet, but I do know. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I do know that both of Goro's fatalities are close-up fatalities, but I don't remember exactly how to pull them off. Also, the reason it says I have a continue is because whenever you switch out a character, it will say that. My ancestors convey their respect. As well they should. And will welcome you in the hereafter. Round one. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's see, Kenshi. Okay, good retort. Okay, I'm not as scared as this this form of Kenji as I am as possessed one. Or whatever the one he used when he brings out that samurai looking thing. Come on! No you don't. Who almost got me there. And now, time for the final round of this. Well, I'll be fighting him anyway. Oh, I actually managed to do one. Oh, the only reason I see, really see any of the special moves is because I'm not that used to doing them with, I'm not used to playing with Goro. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? Oh, another thing to add is that certain characters do have it so that their um, x-ray is like their special. But I'm not sure, but there's a certain couple characters that's really difficult to pull off because you have to pull off a certain button along with it. Okay, that's why. I push forward instead of back. Goro wins. Fatality. Oh yeah, the faction I'm currently part of is um, Kano's, and that's because I literally, I chose every single one of them beforehand, mostly because the fact of Kano's is red. I got no other reason. You are nothing but noise. And we're back. And here's his last one. Kutan Warrior? How do you pronounce that? I actually don't know. And here's one of my least favorite people to fight in this game. Leatherface. Hmm. Honestly, it's mostly just because of the fact that I can never really be that good against him. Round two, fight. All right. Though, in all honesty, he's not giving as much usual bad behavior as he does normally. Because usually he'd be beating the crap out of me with that one movie does. Or maybe just because of... There it is! Like, ain't I bring that chase? I like that right there. Yeah, no. Alright, that's it. No, doing that always made me... Remind me that when you look at Goro in a way, he looks kind of like a... He looks like a roided up Goomba in a way to me for some reason. You know what, I'll show this off real quick. This is the faction kill. Depending on the faction you're with, will depend on the type of um, kills you can get. 
There's also a special one you can only get whenever your faction wins. Because um, certain times, it honestly depends on whichever faction is popular. Because like last week, I was part of Special Forces. We had won and everything like that. I mean, we had lost completely. Because I knew it was bad when I was the faction champion for a short time. In fact, I'm pretty sure the entire week I was a faction champion. Now I think about it. All right, what variation is he in? Great. Oh, Farmer Jacks. You will suffer, Earth Round Dog. Oh, you think so? Round one, fight. Now, if I remember correctly, the way you unlock Farmer Jacks is by the mobile game. Oh man, I. Uh, it's time like this to make me regret that I don't have the um. That I don't have the um, stage fatalities. Well, I do have for certain characters like Sub Zero, like um Scorpion, and um whatever it's called, and Triborg. All right, let's see how you like this. Ha! <laughs> huh, payback for all the times you do that to me in this game. I always hate fighting Jax. Not I don't. I gotta admit I have a soft spot for playing as a guy. Any other time I don't like him. Well, story mode I do, but other than those two situations, I don't really like Jax. Especially though he used to beat the ever-living crap out of me in MK9. So I will admit, playing, because I could only be like the expert tower, like a scorpion, and every time he would always grab me or do the gotcha grab. And I like hard difficulties, he knows how to use it. It's not like what you saw there. Oh, and I'll also be playing about most of these on medium, mostly, mostly because if I play any higher than this, I'm going to get the crap kicked out of me. Especially by like Jack, Sonia, or Jack. No, not Jackie. Um. Uh, never mind. I'll just do this. I was about to look at the stage fatality, but it takes too, too much time. In fact, um, if anyone down in the comments can list like the stage fatalities for me, that'd be fantastic. Oh man, no, actually last night I was actually pra um, practicing with Goro. I was doing very well, got up to level 20 in like Endless Tower, and got up to like um, challenge number 20, and Cassie Cage comes along and says, nope, you're done. Wow. You're scary. You are wise to fear me. Oh, I'm talking to myself. Round one, fight. Oh, another thing is I do I do wish Kotal Khan was in this one just so I could have Goro rip his arms off. I do like Kotal Khan, but you also do have to remember, Goro hates Kotal Khan, mostly because of the fact that he's the reason why his dad is dead. Even though, I forget, was it Goro or King, or um, Goro's dad, King Gorbak, who killed his dad? No, you're not. And Jack, she's honestly another character I, I love playing with, but I hate when she's against me. Round two, fight. Because the game only, because when I'm in like towers and stuff like that, it only pulls her out whenever I'm like really high up, not whenever she's like really easy still. Which is funny because the ones who usually kill my runner, her, Reptile, and Jax. Which is why in story mode, Reptile's a joke, but in this game, he's actually really good. Yeah, no, you're not. Crap. No, you're not. Come on. <laughs> Dang. You know, stuff like this that always makes me, you know, I always wonder, I always like the little details they put into stuff like this, even though it's like really, really gruesome. Because I wonder how much time it took for them to think of half of the stuff they do in this game. Because I, if memory serves correct, I heard the way they do it is like, they come up with like the most crazy, insane fatalities. And if someone says, there's no way we can do that, they keep, they just go, okay, just watch me. 
Which I also do like the fact that they do like the most crazy things off of their heads and go downwards. Because I think that's how they came with like one of Kano's fatalities knife to meet you. Have to be enemies. Combat me or admit your cowardice. Only if I must. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Oh, I, do, I do have to apologize though because I do believe in my um playthrough I did say the wrong that this was the wrong sub-zero I can't remember what his name is. I'll probably remember when I see it on the screen I mean the screen later on when I play as him Also, I'm gonna handle characters that weren't in story mode first so for today you'll be seeing You'll be seeing um sub-zero I mean um Goro only Tomorrow I'm not sure who I'm gonna do Cause this is pretty much just gonna be on a weekend thing. I will switch it up so Injustice will be involved too. And just like that, you'll see characters that you didn't see in story mode. Or barely saw, cause I might start with Shazam in that one. Just so I can get him out of the way too. Come on! We were talking about that good crap a second ago. Oh wait, no, that was actually me. I do have to admit, I wish Shiva was in the game along with him because the reason why, I think Goro was just recovering because he did get his arm ripped off by Kotal if memory serves correct. Meanwhile, I do know that um with Shiva, she actually is the new um ruler of the Shokan and stuff like that, which I do find pretty awesome. And now time for the first mirror match. One who will best you. Prepare for combat. Round one. Fight. And he's in dragon form fang variation. Also, there um I do feel bad because you can't play as like that color Goro at all. I mean Goro with that color of clothing on at all in this game. If you're player one. There is actually a way you can do it in um there actually is a way you can do it if the character has a costume. If you select their costume while pressing start, then it switches to the player two version of it. Though it's only with characters with costumes. You somehow fell for that and knew who I was. Round two fight. Okay, let's see if I can show this off here. Okay, I had no doubt in my mind that was gonna happen. Oh, good. Okay, good. Now he can't use any of his stuff. <laughs> oh man, this feels so satisfying to do. Especially after our last game, he was he would terrify me every single time. No, 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 no. I gotta shut up. Well, he stopped gloating as much as I usually do. Help me out, old lady. Ah, uh -huh. no, too late. I want to show this off. I, every time I want to show that off, it doesn't work. Every time, well, um, I should explain it anyway. Well, we're gonna see it any. Well, um, sure, I'll explain it now. If you manage to make that her your final throw, there's actually two different versions. One of it is that you apparently throw her so hard your opponent explodes, and the other one is basically you threw her into him, and that she just starts beating the crap out of him. I'm not sure how to get that one. I've never been able to. Pleased to see you, my prince. I'll not ally with you, Dark Lord. Then your race is doomed. Round one. Fight. Come to think of it, who is the god of our world? Cause we do cause I do know that Shinnok's basically the god of Nether Realm. Fujin and Raiden pretty much hold domain over Earthrealm. But what about the other gods? Cause I'm not sure about many of the other ones. Come on. Thankfully, Shinnok is nowhere near as tough here. Round two, fight. And it's honestly a breath of fresh air for me. Also, you can't do a fatality or a brutality on him in here. Be careful what move you use to finish him off. Because, um, I can't remember, with Aaron Black, if you come in here with, like, his sword variation, he will not hesitate to kill you. I mean, if you use that as your last hit 
on Corrupted Shinnok, which you're gonna have to be facing pretty soon. And God, he stepped up. Wow. Also, Imposter can copy your move sets. I actually know that because I actually managed to get a brutality I've never been able to pull off again against Devora. And this is the end of the first part of the battle. And now time for part two, one round. Once you just hit me, I've actually never beaten this with Gora before. Final round, fight. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, crap. And corrupt the Shinnok, just as annoying as he was in the regular game. I feel no, ironically, I still find him like better than Shao Kahn, just because he is as overpowered as Shao Kahn, but I can fight him better. <laughs> and I have a good way to get out of his move like that. Which is why I end up better than you do. And plus I'm not in prison and something. Come on, please be enough to kill him. Yes. <laughs> Huh, I actually managed to beat him on my first try this time. Don't know why, but shit, Kobe Shinnok always takes me a couple of tries to beat him every time I do this mode. The Shokan have become outcasts for refusing to aid either side in the outworld civil war. But with the conflict over, Prince Goro decided to re-enter the political landscape. Kotal Khan's armies were weak from years of battle. Melina's rebels were scattered. It was an easy matter for the Shokan to seize control. The newly crowned Emperor Goro had his rivals exterminated. No Ashtek, Kaitin, Edenian, or Tarkatan would usurp his throne. Why did he have to worry about Tarkatans? Only one of them is useful, and I'll be playing as him next. And that's the end of Goro's story. Apparently in this, he becomes King Goro. Instead of Prince. Also, the only reason Kintaro's only mentioned once is because he... I think I mentioned this earlier in this exact part. But he did die. Straight up, he did. I know he did at some point. And that's it. I'm not going to have you guys sit through the credits because I don't have that... And in case you're wondering why it says I lost, because I had to switch costumes out twice. All right. And that is the end of Goro's part, everybody. And since they talked about Tarkatans, we're actually going to be playing as someone who has a Tarkatan variation. Alien. Alright, everybody. Next time we'll be playing as Alien. This has been Zayred. And until next time, everybody.